What's up, YouTube? Latin Rider here. Just bringing you a little update on my Yamaha FC6R. And the new update is regarding these bad boys. These are called spools. I uh, use these with the motorcycle stand to jack it up, you know, so you could do uh, tire maintenance, chain maintenance, and so forth. So what happens is the FC6R doesn't have, like, anywhere to put the spools. So what I did was I ended up ordering these fasteners. Uh, on eBay, they cost me about seven or eight bucks, and as you can see, it's a long nut. That's basically what it is. So it's about a, I think it's about maybe half an inch to an inch long. I think it's like a, yeah, about an inch long. But anyhow, what I did was I ended up welding this like underneath my bike. I uh, welded both sides, not myself, but I got to a shop. They charged me forty bucks to weld on both sides. They did both sides here, front and back welded underneath and then they, they actually painted it for me black which is awesome so that's going to be basically on the frame for life kind of like when you buy some bikes they have uh you know something similar to that already on the bike but the fc6r did not come with that so i ended up ordering those packs of 25 on ebay those fasteners and it looks awesome so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these this is what it looks like when you put the spool in as you can see this is how exactly what's going to do. So you're going to take that stand, it's going to go in there, and then it's going to jack up the bike up. So this is exactly how it looks like after, you know, it's on the bike. Screw right on, which is awesome. Like I said, that's basically what it is, is a long nut. And then I also ended up getting, well, this all came together. So this, this size bolt is an M8. Uh, M8 1.25, I believe, is exactly the exact uh, size. So, you know, you could get whatever you want, M6, M8, M10, whatever size bow you want. Remember that the M10 bow is thicker. So, I, since I already had the M8, I chose getting those better. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go outside. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks welded and how it's going to look when I put it on. So, give me a couple of seconds and I'll show you guys exactly how it looks like. Until then, give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, back outside right now um, to install the spool. Let me show you what I did with it. As you can see, it's folded right underneath there. So now, as you can see, We'll put the spool right in there and, and you bracket. it. Show you guys how it's gonna look. There you go. That's what it looks like. Well, hope you guys like this modification I did. Just let me know what you guys think. Like I said, the uh, FC6R uh, 2012 to 17, I believe, don't come with anything where the spool can go. So, welded that little bracket underneath. And there you go. Hey YouTube, Land Rider here. Just got back upstairs. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to give you a little heads up. These fasteners, like I said, uh, I got these on eBay. I paid about seven to eight bucks or so. I got them within two days because they actually, the company's located here in New York. But those fasteners, uh, as you can see, they look great and they work great on the bike. As you saw in the video, I showed you how it looks at the finishing product and with the spools already on the bike. And like I said, the 2017 FC6R did not come with anything where to mount or, you know, locate uh, spools. So that's why I had to do my own, uh, you know, little thing there. But like I said, this is basically, it's an installation of how I did with the, you know, fasteners for the spool. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys like it. 
if you did uh, hit the like button you know hope you guys can subscribe and give me any comments if you like until then I hope you all be safe out there stay home stay safe okay until then I'll catch you guys later this is um, Land Rider here so peace out YouTube peace